day everybody it is klaxon and hunter here and if you guys enjoy this video you should subscribe for more ruby videos check out the patreon to get these videos early and you guys should join the discord server if you want to talk with us so hunter has a good theory i think this I is also like a popular theory too um, yeah. like within mm -hmm. like you know we kind of saw it a couple times yesterday as well but like this is our theory we thought of it too so uh very very good um but yeah we want to talk about emerald mm -hmm. penny and like redemption situations mm -hmm. again redemption too electric boogaloo for emerald but also just how she may like help out the group and stuff so hunter do you want to take it away well i think that i think it's fairly Emerald's a Sundere, right? Yeah. Like, she likes Team Ruby more than I think she's letting on. And sure. I think this for two reasons. One, because she could have ran away from them at any point. She could have used her semblance and then slipped off. Sure. If she really didn't want to ever have to deal with them ever again, yeah. she could have easily done that. I don't think she wants to. I don't know whether or not that's for, like, self-serving reasons. Yeah. Or because she genuinely wants to, like... To have a face turn, be a better person. Yeah. I also think that she has her guns back later, which is a weird thing that not a lot of people notice. Like yeah. when Ruby first notices her and kind of like quickly lunges at her, she goes and reaches for her guns. Earlier in that scene, Yang had her guns. At so some they gave point, back. they trusted her enough to give her her guns back. Mm -hmm. I think that Emerald's like we've I've wanted it since like season two since she was basically introduced, but I think finally we're getting Emerald Redemption time. Yes. And I think that she've already very quickly shown a willingness to help the team. Yes. So I think we have a way of how she can help them. Yes. Right now, Ironwood wants to take Penny, wants to get Penny back from them uh, to do a trade for all of Mantle. Yes. Basically, imagine holding a tire city with a bomb for ransom. Yeah, basically. Mm -hmm. And so my theory is, is that Emerald, with her like stronger semblance, I suppose, is going to pretend that she's Penny. Yes. Ruby and them are going to walk uh, her in. Or maybe, I don't know if it would be Emerald's pretending to be Penny or like Emerald I would I think make... Emerald would have to pretend mm -hmm. to be Penny because Ironwood would wonder if one of them were missing, mm -hmm. right? And so Ironwood said, no fucking funny business. That's what he said. And so how I see it is that when you have, you know, um, everyone back together, Ruby, Weiss, Blake, Yang, Jean, Ren, Nora, you can't really make one of them because Ironwood will be like, where the fuck is Weiss, right? Like he'd freak freak out. Mm -hmm. So I think the best course of action would instead to have Emerald pretend yeah, to be Penny because at fair. least then he doesn't know that Emerald's there. He doesn't know that she's with him. Mm -hmm. And so to him, it's like everyone else is accounted for, sir. Mm -hmm. Like this doesn't seem weird at all. And then they, you know, kick his ass or something. <laughs> That's how we sort of see it, right? My other suggestion is that it could be Ruby uh, because Ruby would know all of Penny's mannerisms best. Yeah. So she would be able to do like a Penny cosplay. Maybe Emerald would be Ruby and yeah. then or Ruby alternatively, would be Penny. <laughs> Emerald could just make a fake Ruby and have real Ruby be fake Penny. Because she yeah. can really play with people's perceptions and she really only needs to do this on but also, whatever. But also, Penny doesn't have regular mannerisms anymore though because she's hacked i don't even think though that emerald needs to know penny's mannerisms though just because like penny is hacked and she's acting weird anyway yeah. right she's not acting like herself she's like hey, right she's very emerald's like stuff. oh penny's dead inside i know how to play that <laughs> exactly right and so mm -hmm. i feel like that it wouldn't be that much of a stretch for emerald to just do it because like penny's basically just mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. she's just like very like strict right now anyway she's not acting like herself but the question is what what do they do with Penny? Because the problem with Penny is that Penny seems to be like, she got knocked out. That's the only reason why she stopped, right? They can't keep hitting her over and over <laughs> again. And so like, what are they going to do with That's her? That's Whitley's job. Oh, just God. holding a sledgehammer over her head for her no. eyes to open. And so and like, she does what whack. are they going to do with the real Penny to make her not go to Ironwood? Because yes, like Watts said, there's a part of her capable of resisting, but that's the only thing right now is that I feel like they'd have to physically restrain restrain her somehow and i don't even know what would be enough to do that to physically restrain her either just right? to dip her entire body in like concrete and let it harden like would that be where the schnee semblance somehow like works maybe. out or somehow does something because like willow and whitley are still there right and so mm -hmm. maybe that they would do something but yeah that's the only part maybe of this maybe they have like a schnee that vault a that like, they can lock penny in yeah maybe i don't know though and so that's the only thing that i'm like a bit iffy on mm -hmm. emerald actually doing this the other thing is is that i would actually like to see them try and then have it backfire horribly like maybe they get into mm -hmm. ironwood's office but ironwood's 
said no funny business. And so that would be a really big risk if they decided to like do this, basically. If they decided to do this. And so maybe it would be a case of like, they decide to do this, they get into Ironwood's office or whatever, like they accompany, you know, like Penny as far as Ironwood's willing to let them. And then they all like all out attack him. Like the only thing though is like, would Ironwood even let himself be in that position? Like, does he think that ideologically the kids aren't above just like trying to murder this man? Or upon entry, would their weapons be confiscated by the Aesops? Because that could fit into our other theory yeah. about like Crow and Robin going after Ironwood. And so like that could still be a whole thing. That's a whole separate video. So we won't really talk about yet. But yeah, that's the only thing. And then the other thing is that can this plan even get to the point where it's executed? Because Cinder is going to go after Penny. Cinder and Watts now know that Penny is with Team Ruby. Neo wants Ruby, right? And so I feel like that even before this could happen, they have an hour to respond, but they have absolutely no safety because the villains are coming after. Like the villains are going to be popping out like through the woodwork, right? When they find out that not only Penny is like together with Team Ruby, but also Team Ruby is with Team Ruby, right? Where is Team Ruby? They will have to be like, they must be around Penny if that's what Ironwood said. And Neo will yeah. latch on to that, right? And so I feel like this is just lots of stuff this going is on. how i think this gets interesting and gets more complicated what i think happened is that the switch is almost going to go off they're almost going to trade like and cinder's like wait emerald or but that would be weird because then emerald would have to go to the bad guy side unless she just slips out later maybe they just have like a bag of potatoes or it's whitley or someone that they would have no purpose for um and that's when cinder comes in and cinder sees Ruby, that's maybe a fake Ruby, because yeah. real Ruby is Penny, or real Ruby is, is somewhere in the illusion. And then Cinder goes and tries to kill Penny. That's how we realize... Or imagine that Emerald is Penny, and oh. then Cinder tries to go after Emerald, and Emerald is be like, wait, no, it's me! And then Cinder's like, what the fuck? And then Ironwood's like, you guys tricked us! Mm -hmm. I told you there would be no funny business! Bomb drop! Destruction! Very bad! Broken. And then there's this big fight, and yes. then, like, obviously after that they would have to take care of Ironwood. Like, that would actually be really good, I feel, because it's testing Emerald's allegiance. Would she mm -hmm. be willing to Ooh. fight against Cinder Ooh. and stay as Penny for the act, mm -hmm. for the sake of the people of Mantle, or would she immediately be like, no, Cinder, it's me, it's Emerald, hug, right? Like, would she immediately <laughs> crack at the first sign of tension? I feel like that could be a really good test for her. That could be a really great moment if when Cinder attacks Ruby and it's revealed to not be real Ruby, she's yeah. like, wait a minute, Emerald? And turns around and that could be a dramatic moment where she's yeah. like, oh, you're playing for a different team now. I also like this kerfuffle situation because I think it would result in a really great fight. Yes. Of, like, Cinder fighting Team Ruby and Aesop's fighting... Team Ruby and also probably Cinder and then maybe... Yeah, because if the Aesops go get the delivery, yeah, right? Yeah, right. And then maybe like Marrow and Winter turncoat halfway through and then yeah. maybe the big turn is that Emerald for real, for real turns coat. I know. I think it could be a really yeah. chaotic, really fun fight scene. Kind of similar to the Aesops versus Ruby yeah. fight scene at the end of volume seven. That's Especially because you have yeah. like this situation where Cinder <laughs> is also an enemy of Ironwood. Like they also had Cinder, like Cinder escaped with Watts. Ah, right. Mm -hmm. Like they also had that, right? So what if you have like the Aesops are fighting for Penny and Cinder, mm -hmm. much like Clover, like how Clover yeah. wanted to yeah. double dip and get both Tyrion and Crow. And then that's again, their downfall again, right? Is that they tried to go for both this time because mm -hmm. Cinder and Watts and then Cinder and Watts are fighting against all of them but then the Aesops are also fighting against Team Ruby, right? It could be great mirroring mm -hmm. over to that situation that the Aesops are still fucking stupid. I don't think Winter will be allowed to go with them though. No. Uh, so we'll talk about that in another video. But that Maybe is basically also our theory Crow for now. And Robin can show up. Maybe Penny show well, up. I just we'll really talk about want the Crow a and crazy Robin chaotic fight. Again, I think they're yes. going to actually stay in the compound. They mm -hmm. aren't going to arrive outside of Shinee Manor. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that that's going to be a thing. But like, then what if real Penny comes in and gets, yeah. like, you know, real hack Penny yeah. gets out of the, the restraints or whatever yeah. we're talking about, Especially right? Especially if it takes place in Schnee Manor. That yeah. could be another... I just really want The this... grounds of Schnee Manor yeah. on the outside. That's how what I, I see What it. I want this to be is I want this to be a really escalating event. First, it's just the, the trade and everything goes okay. Yeah. Then Cinder comes in and it's the whole reveal. And then they're fighting. And then there's like an Emerald turn. And maybe there's a Marrow Winter turn. And then maybe Penny shows up, but she's yeah. hacked. I really want this really big 
escalating chaos. chaotic fight for a whole and episode. Then Neo comes in and, and then Neo comes in. Ruby, right? And, and then Pietro and, like, and Maria fly by. Oh, yeah, God. I really want my my one wish list. Uh, Where are Pietro and Maria? I don't know. <laughs> I also have a theory that they may, like, the bomb is going to, like, Ironwood realize what's happening. He presses the button, the bomb gets dropped, but Maria and Pietro go and save the bomb. That's definitely not going to happen. But if it does happen, I'll be so happy. But yeah. I don't think it'll be great for the story, but I'm really hoping for this big, chaotic, really fun fight scene. I agree. And so, yeah, guys, that is basically all from us. We hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye.